everyone, it's me, Ivan, a year boy today, I mean, I year old boy, today I'll show you how to make part 22 of school. Now today we're gonna basically add the star power. Uh, like after star power, I mm, maybe like what I will actually add like the the uh, I mean the the other mushroom the, the other two main basic mushroom types. So just stay tuned. Like in like you see on my screen you know why is like the fireball going through the enemies because i just unattached the check check fireballs in the enemy sprite like now see here because i, I like to like because sometimes you need a fast test with f and you want to get rid of enemies like sometimes you just want to play and you don't need you, you just don't want it to be hard so waste time so you can just do this but that means you can double flip enemies. Uh, not double flip enemies, but okay. Let's start. First, in the enemy spark, go into costumes and yeah. You like now we? I'm just kidding. Yeah, we need to go like do the enemy motions, like the mushrooms motions. I mean, like because the mushroom is supposed to move around. Like, see, it just stays still and. So in the enemy spark, go locate the fine tick combustor. Slash Koopa slash whatever. And then here from the change X B Y by negative one to move spark X, drag it out and then get it make a new block named general move. And put a accelerate X. And put a label of max x and the input of max and Roman that was really refresh. Yeah, yeah, then put the script there and put now put the general move this thing under it because we're reusing this in the tick life script or tick power ups, whatever you named it. Now for the first input. You put basically now for the first general move map value. You see the it's zero point one since here is zero point one, but just ignore the negative zero point one. And for second is max x since we're replacing the speed x less or greater than whatever. Now put the a accurate x uh, a c c x whatever into the chain speed x and under cost custom block and reattach the scripts i may go in a heck of a while you put it over here and then put if speed y x is less than max like that and for the bottom it's basically the same but you need to drag out two minuses two minuses and then and then you need to just put the max in the one and a c c x and the a c c x like accuracy x whatever goes like I don't know goes under and yeah but above. Now we have to set up. We can like you can try if everything still works with the Koopas and Goombas. Nothing should be glitching. Every enemy should be like moving around as usual. Now you just see like the fireballs are going heck of a crazy while. Now we need to make the mushroom. Just go locate define tick life script. We did lots of coding here. So yeah, we need to start. Now at the like the else here, put a general move before the if touching Mario and put three and one and the values. 
Now go back to the fun tick gumba. Now this is optional. Like I'm just gonna move it. Like a general move 0 0.1 may be like slow because in real like Mario should be faster. So I recommend doing 0 0.3. And now it's gonna be better. Even though you're like so immune to monsters. So yeah. This is basically, it's an option. You can keep it at 0 0.1. We're not gonna use like, even 0 0.5, or you can experiment, or 0 0.2, and use a value 0 0.25. So, because, oh, I kinda, yeah. That's basically, basically you're supposed to do. And now we haven't even tested this yet. Bump the mushroom block, and it, it now it can move. It might glitch that, like if you power up under a block, it might just glitch, but it's not big of a while. Now, we need to make like the star power. Like there's still some bugs to fix. We're gonna fix it today, but maybe bugs or star power. Now, just simply, uh, like you see the uh, if like we have a problem you can test now if we bump this fire flower also moves when you check out if only mushrooms only move so now put if surrounding the general move only and then put check if root costume is equal to life now if we just test bump bump and the fire flower doesn't move perfect and i can still blast them away bad okay now we have some other little like jingo bugs to do if you just turn on your sound it's a bit okay i'll just go into editor and if you enter, like, like, see where you, like, touch the level end, like, just, uh, just one. Like, if you touch the level end, like, you just simply, basically, there is a music, level music continues. And you, there's supposed to be a level end sound. Like, the course clear in the sounds one. Yeah, see that? It's quite clear. And I just broke the music. Okay. Let's start. Now just simply go into the costumes in the enemy sprite. And then, uh, let me find the, where is it in, in here? Okay, anyways, so I bet it's in the tiles. In the tile sprite, drag the star into the enemy sprite, the star costume. I may not add the star animation and jumping, but if you just want a hint and you want to add it, like, uh, just go into my, like, project, like this, like, just go into, in the tiles sprite, uh, you see, I got like a bunch of new, like bunch of costumes, like not too much. And there's like the like the two different types of star here. The other, like those are for animation. And then like if you want another, like where to first you need to look like do the define move jump and yeah, run without screen refresh here. Let's run without screen refresh and then locate the define tick life. life and go down and you will see like there's one up like the poison mushrooms and the, the star is just moving jump you need to do 4 and 20 and the costume is yeah basically everything is i don't know and you can also copy my thumbnail if you want 
Now in the enemy sprite, go locate the define spawn type. And below put it. They just duplicate one of them and put if, checking if, type equals 46. I could have put it before. I'll put it in order, actually. And then set frame to negative 1. Set type to life. Set costume to nope. Then you set to star. And then, yep. Everything's are good, working good. And when you enter the level editor, oh my god, where is it? Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm just now if you headbutt it, pump it, and if you collect it, nothing happens. But it, it spawns out each, so that's a good thing. And um, basically, I just want to challenge you every time I need a pause up. I need to die in the hole. Now, we got that set up, and now we need to do the other things. Now, under the find tick life again, like at the very bottom, like in the <coughs> if else that says that that says if like the. Yeah, broadcast mushroom grow up. I'm just not happy with how this works. But the mushroom grow up in the else. And then put now in the L in the else put like if root co like the if else put the value of if root costume equals star. And then broadcast a new message. Broadcast a new message name die. How about collect superstar? It might be a weird name for star power. Or you could just do collect star power or anything, but I'm just going to collect superstar. And then when you go into the sounds and actually trigger this, just go into sounds and drag the star power into Mario's bar. Actually, we can do it here. We don't need to drag. And now here... <clears throat> But it would not receive star, collect superstar, or whatever name you do. And then put a stop other script in Sprite. <coughs> and then, <coughs> when you make a new variable named star power for all sprites. Okay then. And just set star power to a thousand. The value doesn't matter. It just has to be greater than one. Like you can do a trillion or a billion or a bazillion or a gazillion or one. Or zero point zero 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 one. I used to square than zero. That's okay. <clears throat> and then put a play. Oh, let's see what we have. Play, oh my god, so much. Play star power until done. And then play sound. Play a level select like, until done again. And set then set star power to the empty value. And then put a music block. Now if we test with your volume on. Not too loud, or my hair too. Here's what. Let's see what we got here. Just what I need. Now we will see the the star power continues, and it just repeats until the like star power. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot fireballs quickly. And when it stops, it, the level continues, and done. Yeah, basically. But we need to like, let the player know if you're actually in star power. I'm going to show the star power variable. Because sometimes, like, people are, it doesn't, like, mean, like, I'm going to contest again. Like, it sometimes if you don't show the sound, it's not in the, like, the star power says to what's out. And when it ends, like, you need to also be, like, doing something. Like, if, they, if you just have, like, a cut, like, a sound, it doesn't work. I will turn to empty, yep. So, yeah, we need to do that. Now, 
Now go into the Marvel's part and locate the Find Reset Player. And at the very bottom, oh yeah, before the point in direction 90, set star power to zero to the empty value again, so that we like don't continue star power we start. And now locate the fine paint sprite. And before the go to X Y thingy, but after the search costume do big, put it if checking if star power is greater than zero. And then simply now in the if change color effect color effect by 10 and then put and then the else put set color effect to zero uh, to zero yes and now if we test Whoa, let's see what we got. Just, just what I need. Now when we see when we turn to star power, like Mario, like whatever it's called, like we turn to rainbow. And when it ends, look. You see when it ends you just turn to regular Mario. And this works in all style Mario and um to be honest, I'm really just keen to put another now we have everything set up. I just really want to now put star power in all the, like, not all of them, but I want to put them in most of them. So I can. This level's also, well, actually, this level I need some, like, now I may be just designing levels, so just please don't mind that because. I really like designing things in Mario. Like that. Now if you see you test. Well, let's see what we did the Goombas got. You can like see, I tried it in, in Mario mode and Fire Mario. I just missed this, but it's okay. So, Everything should be working good, like the exactly same as you, as me, like, whenever I do this. Just want to do some trickies. Well, let me actually try if this actually works. Nope. Uh, wait a second. Oh my god. Do I take to this level or no? Anyways, mm, this is a deadly trap and it's the worst. Yeah, now we need to do something. That's gonna make this thing. Now, you see, like, we need still the bugs to fix, so let's continue fixing. Now, when you make the flipping action. Under define whenever it's take Gumba before the like in the if touching Mario oops not here like that like a regular old one like put a if checking if star power is greater than zero and then simply flip and stop the screen and I'm just gonna duplicate it. Now, go locate to find Tick, Tick Piranha, and in the If Touching Mario, put the same thing again, if Star Park greater than zero. Now, I really want to just, let me see if I kill the Piranha, and kill Koopas, because Koopas and, ha 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 ha, let's see what the enemies got. Now, this is working good, like this game is like, now I can still die, right? And power down. Yep, this game is working so good. But the star power needs like 
probably like someday needs to upgrade for enemy like in, like immune on like immune like the enemies can immune it. But before I do, end, we can try something. Like in the tick Koopa on um, shell, like the tick shell, if to put if touching Mario, you can put that over there too. So like moving Koopa shells, but also it counts now. Wait, 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 I, I really, I don't, go into the Mario, just, you can do another thing, like, put a when, uh, S key, and uh, not S, it's a crouching key, when, G key press, set, set star power to 1000, and then, but it will never end, so, just simply, now, there, play, Actually, just broadcast star power inside it. Unless you want to play for it. Ever. Now I'm going to go to the t fly to the testing area. Up here. Squash. I need the uh, Koopa too. And then I need... Press G and no. And then now we could just try to disable it. Just when something when six press set star power to zero. And set star power to empty value. This is not mandatory if you just don't want to be cheat cheaters when you play the game. Like you accidentally press a key. Now I need to try to squish the Goomba, squish the Koopa. I mean, just transform the Koopa. Koopa. I'm not sure if we can get killed like over here. Oop, I can't. That's good. Press G, and now we got flip Koopa shells. Because before, if you don't add the Koopa thingy, like the Koopa shell, then all this, the Koopa shell won't, wouldn't even flip upside down. So that means a bit unfair, like the Koopas just get infinite shells, just get to kill you, and other enemies don't end. Gee, I didn't flip it. Now you can just, but uh, you can still die in a hole, right? Yep, you can. Now, since we got all of that fixed, we can now try something else. Now another bug fix. <clears throat> Go into sound sprite and and put a when I receive. Put a, just put a when I receive. Uh, let me see where is it. Level. The level. Oh, here, Mario level complete. Now, under that, put a stop other scripts in Sprite. And then put a set. I mean, not set. Play sound. Play till done. Uh, course clear. Play sound. And then get yeah, like that. Finish. Now you should see we have like the music. We're gonna shoot fireball and press G. To get a bit more OP. Now we see we have the end music. Come on, I'll do it. Now I'm just going to try if I still can pass the level end of it. Yep, I still can. But I bet we're fixing it today. Okay, let's start. Fixing more and more bugs. Bef because the star powers are now finished. It's like so easy. Now go into the enemy sprite. And take, go locate tick piranha. And before all the ifs, put an if. Taking if. Floor of temp, 
is less than 4. And put another if, checking if uh, abs of so wait, I need a minus. Oh my god. Abs of and I also need the backdrop thingy. I mean distant to Mario. Oh my god, where is it? Mario to something. Okay. And of course you guessed it. It's it's X. Let's then set frame to one. Like that. And everyone knows that's not distant to Mario. It's X of Mario. Okay. Now this fixes like when you're near pipe the piranha shouldn't come up. As you see now. If you're not touching it, yep, it comes up and I like, just shoot at it. Okay. There's still like some like there's still more two more bugs before we end this episode. The two bugs is let me show you this first one. The first one should be easy, straightforward. Yep, my testing area. And this place I'm gonna just remove the two enemies and then make it bigger and then I'm going to make some question mark blocks and um, I'm going to make the blue platforms and the red platforms you'll see why in a moment and I'm going to moment I'm going to put the uh, mushroom here now for it you see yep the mushroom behind the platform that's a fix, a fix and then another thing before we do any more is locate define move i mean yeah move enemy the custom block and then in, in the if frame it less than zero this one put a minus like put a minus in the dire direction of mario like put a minus there and put like yeah empty value minus now because that is added the star power will face the opposite direction of mario when it starts and now i'm saying some pipe yeah and i can still pass away that. okay now we have that fixed we need to move to the fixing bug the other two bugs and now go locate the find move i mean then move move and yeah yeah, here, move player after enemy. Like, instead, if type is equal to flip, we need a contained block. Oh my god, I'm tired of scrolling contains. And then put flip, put a capital P, and, and put end blocks. Just gonna also capitalize it, and the life. It doesn't have to be in any order. And then contains what? Now that's a question. Basically, we need to put type. Because that means, like, if type... It's basically two ors. I'm going to show you. It's basically the same as two ors and three equals like this. Like that. And type three type three types all in the equals and all is and type the first one is flip or whatever you want with capital F and next is end box with a capital E and B and the third one is basically life it's basically the same, these two scripts. But that one makes it more simple. Now the fireball thingy, trash. There's no way you can kill this star. No matter how you shoot it. And now, another thing... Oh, stop it. 
Another thing you want to do before that is in the enemies, but it's your choice again. It's back to them when they receive check fireballs. Like, it, it's... Oh, I need to save it. I haven't... Like, it's here. If type equals fireball, you, you need to remove that if when I receive check fireballs. Because... Unless you want the fireballs, if I just reattach it... Like now the and like the these just what I needed. These power ups are blocking the fireball, see? But if you disconnect it again, it will just go through. That's better. Just what I because needed. I I barely basically it's hard to find the problem plot unless you're trying to see like now no blast away the end end box, so no need for two thousand end boxes. <laughs> Alright. Now the last bug. There's the mushroom power up. Just go to locate the fine move and meet the custom block one. Come on. Please. And then let's start doing this. Now on the left, go locate the fine take life. I was like wrong. Like and put a if frame equal I'm just gonna duplicate it. Frame equals forty seven. Then go to front layer. And then put that under the change y by one. And then now let's try this. Now let's go to the testing area where I built this thingy. I it's pretty good. Ready to be blue. I'm gonna put it go up here. And now, yo, it's not behind it. it. And I'm gonna just maybe you should add like fall damage, like in Minecraft or, or even like. So like bounce, you can like other enemies like enemies that like even you can I like something like 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 creepers that explode so you can like sometimes or the fireballs like a special like explosive power up or a gold power flower that I can shoot things and then yeah those things can be awesome in this game but it's not that it's, it's gonna gonna basically make this not that cool but you can add like like create like a like a monster color whatever you want like i don't know that like comes to you and explodes and like get, and you will like die when it explodes like permanently or take damage and then you and then you can open like secret walls like for example if i just like there's something over here and this block by wall like a block, block by roof, but you need explosion. Like, but that's that could have been tricky because even though this is a tile like my tile scrolling base game like Minecraft, it's still like lots of difference between them. So even if you do that, it won't work. Maybe. Yeah. Well, this is another end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and smash the subscribe button to review more your teaching videos. Bye, see you next time. And just, just a note that, that like, there's more than 22 episodes. Bye, see you next time.
可以了。你这个录着没用，我要自己录，因为这个上。